Now, here we are. This is our next chapter and the start of our family. Today, we're the centre of everyone's attention, but you've always been the centre of mine. Oh. <laughs> Ever since I met you eight years ago, you've been the single source of my happiness. Your smile and laugh are unreal and nothing like I've seen or heard before. <laughs> the last week or so has definitely been challenging, but we've held our ground and come through better on the other side. It proves we can take on anything. I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle towards me and gazing into your eyes. You're such a beautiful person inside and out. I love you, Mel. The year is 2012 and a young Mel is considered to be the finest admin girl of her generation. Her receipt recording is a delight and her ability to process a transaction is as smooth as honey, twice as tasty. Her talents have not gone unnoticed either. For many a day she's being silently admired from afar by a young lad on the sales floor. Make no bones about it, Brendan, by his own admission, was the pursuer in this relationship. He chased Mel around like a greyhound chases a rabbit, or Ruby chases a tennis ball. Now ladies and gentlemen, the first rule of romance when it comes to swooning a wonderful lady is to be romantic, to dazzle a little bit. Brendan tried a different tact. He walked straight up to Mel and in his ro most romantic manner asks, you able to get me the stock number for this Canon inkjet printer? But he wouldn't ask just once. For reasons still unknown, he'd repeat the same question over and over again. Initially, Mel was a little puzzled, but soon times would change the more she got to know him, and there were little moments, little glimpses of her feelings changing. She would often look out onto the sales floor and there Brendan would stand, his ungainly mop of hair blowing gently in the cool breeze of the good guy's aircon. people every day. Some will become acquaintances, few will become friends, and maybe one day you'll meet the one that changes your life forever. Mel, the day I met you, I knew there was something special about you. I love the way you spoke, your bubbly personality, and of course your infectious laugh. I was drawn to you like you had a gravitational pull, and just being in your company filled me with such happiness that I felt lost when you weren't around. Nearly eight years have passed and those feelings are even stronger today. Because of your love and guidance, you've helped me become a better person in just about every way. You've made me far more confident and you've pushed me to be the best that I can be, whether that's at work, soccer, home and basically at life. I will always remember how you cared for me when I ruptured my ACL. I was crippled and the lowest I've ever been. You helped me from everything from getting dressed to literally being a leg to stand on. I love everything about you. You're such a beautiful and caring person that sees the best in everyone. I promise to be the net that catches you when you fall and the rockets in your shoes to propel you to where you want to be. I promise to be the Buzz Lightyear to your Jesse, <laughs> the Lightning McQueen to your Sally and the Carl to your Ellie. I promise to be your protector, your carer, your partner in crime, and your jester. I promise to create a home full of love for our family to flourish and grow. I love you with all my heart, so let's start the next chapter of our adventure. Gives love
Clarendon. Who would have thought that one day a shy, blue-eyed, bushy-head Texan guy would one day capture the heart of a loud, out there, bubbly admin girl? On paper, we seem to be complete opposites, but just like yin and yang, we perfectly balance each other out. I love that you always keep me grounded when my head is up in the clouds, or as you put it, the logical one. <laughs> you have always supported me unconditionally, whether it's having my back, even on those very rare occasions when you know I'm wrong, or supporting crazy choices like moving back to the zoo. So, Rendon, just like when we first met, I'm going to tell you just how it is. <laughs> I can't promise you that I won't fall asleep when you want to re-watch Star Wars for the hundredth time. <laughs> and if I'm being completely honest, I probably won't ever remember that it's called a lightsaber and not a lifesaver. <laughs> Even though lifesaver does make more sense. <laughs> but I do promise to give you my whole heart, soul and hand as we journey through this crazy adventure called life together. I promise to always love you, respect you, and cherish you from this day until we look old and gray. I promise that you will never face a day alone and to be by your side whether our tomorrow is easy or hard, just like you've done for me since our first day. I'm so lucky to have found a partner, a fiance, and now a husband in you and that I get to spend the rest of my life growing old with you, annoying you, and loving you. You are my soldier, my person, and my best friend, and I love you. Caught up in a wild Mrs. Melanie Smith, welcome to the family. And I wish you many years of enjoyment everywhere you check in from now on. They'll go, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, yeah, sure you are. And I tell you, it doesn't get old. Mel, when you first introduced us to Brendan, my first opinion of Brendan was he was very shy and quiet and I thought you were going to eat him alive. <laughs> Brendan soon proved us wrong. If I wanted anyone to give me a harsh opinion, Brendan is a complete savage and he will completely ruin my ego. So if ever I need an opinion, I know to ask Brendan. So I've known Brendan for about 27 years, and I don't want to brag, but I really think we've grown up in that time. My first memory is one I'm sure all younger siblings can relate to, is running as fast as I possibly can with Brendan chasing me down, trying to beat me up, as I'm half laughing, half preparing to cry as I dodge and weave around the backyard. But as we grew older, we both discovered our love for gaming, and the physical violence turned to raging at each other and everybody else over our headsets, as Bren Dance and Indirect Impact tore up the Call of Duty world. And somehow Mel thought this was a family she wanted to be a part of. So I look forward to many more double dates and many family holidays with you guys. And I can't wait to laugh back at this day that in the middle of a pandemic we somehow managed to get this wedding going. <laughs> so I'd like everyone to raise a glass for the happy couple. Dear doofus, you're the one for me. Brendan, I'm so glad you walked on over to my counter all those years ago and asked me to help you with stock take. Just think, if you didn't, we wouldn't be in this predicament right now. <laughs> Thank you for always reminding me what true love is, even when I'm hangry or when I'm popping your pimples. You make it so easy to love you, and today proves that together there isn't a mountain we can't climb. I promise to love you every day for the rest of my life, even when it's hard. But knowing us, there will always be more happy times than sad, and always more laughs than tears. I'm thankful for you every day and I love that I now get to call you my husband for the rest of my life and also get to pop the pimples whenever I want. <laughs> I love you.